Meanwhile, CBS News has learned that President Biden could soon be heading to Europe to meet with NATO allies. Meanwhile, Ukraine's President Zelensky is expected to address Congress tomorrow as part of his effort to mobilize international support against the Russian invasion. Nancy Cordes is following all of this from the White House. Nancy, good morning. We understand that the United States is talking to China as well, warning the country against backing Russia. Good morning. Well, Russia doesn't have many allies in this fight, but a senior administration official says the White House is concerned about China's alignment with Russia. And that concern was conveyed directly to Chinese officials when they sat down in Rome with National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan for what was described to us as an intense seven hour meeting yesterday. Sullivan warned them there will be consequences for China's relationships around the world if it responds to Russia's requests for economic and military aid. Now, China and Russia have denied there's been any request for help. The Kremlin saying, quote, Russia possesses its own independent potential to continue the operation. It's going according to plan and will be completed on time and in full. But financial analysts around the world predict that Russia could default on its debts as soon as tomorrow as sanctions drive down the value of the ruble. Now, sources tell us that plans are taking shape for a trip by President Biden to meet with NATO allies in Europe as early as next week. And how's this for a show of bravery and solidarity as the bombs rain down? The leaders of Poland, the Czech Republic and Slovenia are all traveling by train to Kyiv this morning to meet in person with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Boy, what a picture that must be. Thank you very much, Nancy.